Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on this gorgeous little stocking that you see right here. Oh, this is very nice, don't you think? Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it is the first item in our Christmas series this year. We are, will be talking about the rest of the items for our Christmas series uh, this Thursday coming in a video vlog. It's an absolute must-see on a video vlog, guys, because that one there has all the information. Plus, it has a special item in there, which you guys just have to watch to find out. But that will happen this Thursday. It was supposed to happen today. But the yarn I was going to talk about hasn't arrived. <laughs> and it's not going to arrive till tomorrow. So I'm going to hold it out till Thursday. I'm going to give it another day just in case. Um, just in case it doesn't come tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you very much uh, for joining us. The colour combination that you see right here uh, was chosen by the lovely Angela in one of our live antics um, on Saturday mornings at 10am. Uh, we have a, a thing called live antics. I lay some yarn out on a table and I say, right, I pick one of the subscribers who are on the live at the time and say, right, would you like to choose a colour combination? And they say, yes. And Angela was chosen this week for her live antics choice uh, and she chose the green the white and the red now I could have used more green I, I didn't think of what I should have done I maybe should have put the green there and a little bit of white I don't know but this was fine <laughs> I'm happy with this. It's got a, a little peacoat edge. Now, if you are new to crochet and cannot do this edge, I do give you a second choice of a, a much easier edging for yours. All right, so don't think this is too difficult. You can't do it. There is an easier version in the tutorial for you. All right, but that's not happening until part two. Okay, I did split it up in two parts because I wanted to do this part here with you and make sure I was thorough with that. So part one is the little... Um, bottom part, what do you call it, the toes, um, I couldn't get it out, part one's the toe, <laughs> oh gosh, the heel, and then I think I get to here and I send you off on your own and you have to finish the rest and join us back on Friday for part two, all right, but today for part one, all we're doing is this, so really all you'll need is your white and your red until you get to there uh, at the end of part one, you will need your six millimeter hook and I'll talk about that in a minute you will need your scissors you will need your stitch markers too and you will need a sewing needle definitely you need a sewing needle why do you need a six millimeter hook with sorry guys I couldn't find the yarn with your uh, eight ply which is a DK weight yarn you're thinking why do I need a six millimeter hook because we are using double strand you are doubling your strand to make your little stocking nice and chunky and look at the size of that like that can fit both my hands in there check it out <laughs> that's fantastic yeah imagine how many chockies and yummies you can fit in that <laughs> all right so you will be doubling your thread now eight ply is a dk weight or a uh, number three overseas, all right? So it is um, a medium weight or lightweight even, uh, but you will need to double it if you want to make a nice chunky um, stocking, all right? So that's the only reason why, okay? You don't need a lot of the green, obviously, but since you are doubling your yarn, allow a little bit more of all of the yarns, all right? That's it, guys. I'm not going to talk anymore. Once again, my tutorials do go a long time. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thank you to the lovely Angela for her colour combination of our Christmas stocking. Good luck, guys, uh, making part one of your beautiful Christmas chunky stocking all right as i mentioned in the promo you will need both strands of your yarn we're going to be working with both of them together and we're going to start off by making a magic circle or a magic ring or magic loop whatever you want to call it just grabbing the tail ends of your yarn and popping them down there yeah grab the working end of your yarn wrap it around two of your fingers and cross it over what you should have is the letter x yeah grab your six millimeter hook Pop it under the front loop, pull that back loop up and through. And you should have one, two, and then this section right here. You need to grab all of it, like so. Yeah. And then change your hands over, chaining one. Tighten it up a little. And single crochet in the center. And a single crochet is pop your hook in the center, pull a loop through 
two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two grabbing a stitch marker if I can get it look at this look look <laughs> all I had to do was pick up one stitch marker all right pop your stitch marker in like so um, and it's a two top loops you might find that that will split just be wary of that later if it splits yeah because we have two threads we're working with all right in the same center let me just grab your tail and pull it a little bit not much because we need to fill up that center yeah so in the same center you're putting another seven single crochets you need altogether eight so in pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two You've got two of them and let's keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we are crocheting over the tail so that we can pull that shut in a minute. So if you're not sure whether you've got eight, just grab yourself something that will help you count. And you're counting these little Vs that you see right there. All right, a little bit tricky to see with white. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in your stitch right there, the last one you've got is eight, all right? So what you're going to do now is grab those. Here we go. Grab the little tail, that's not the tail, <laughs> grab the little tail right now and just give it a tug and it closes up your centre, all right? And then you are going to, let's do this, you are going to slip stitch to join in the stitch with your stitch marker. Pull a loop through like that and pull it through to the loop on your hook. Take out that stitch marker. Yes, just give it a bit of a tug, chain one and tighten that chain and in the same stitch you are in, you're going to do a single crochet. Like so. Yes, pop your stitch marker in your first stitch. Always in your first stitch so you know what to slip stitch into at the end of the round. All right, this round is very simple. All you're doing is two single crochets in every stitch. Now you've got one there, you need to pop in another one in the same stitch. And there's one, two into the next, one and two, two into the next, one and two, two into your next, one and two, and so on. In every stitch, until you get to your yellow stitch marker. All right. You have to bear with me with this tutorial, guys, because I'm working with two strands. I'll be pulling them up a little bit and, and it'll be just a bit messy. <laughs> so just bear with me. Yeah. Oh, did you do two in there? Yes, you did. Stop talking, Mary. Let's get on with it. Okay, we're into the last one now. Just being weary, that is a stitch. That is your slip stitch. All right. So put two into the last stitch. And if you're not really sure, remember how we had eight stitches before? You need to have double that amount because we put two in each stitch. So you need 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, so make sure you count your stitches in each round. And I've just pulled the thread through. So don't mind me, I'm gonna do another stitch again. This is what happens when you're working with two threads at the same time. Just bear with me one second, guys. Let me finish that off. All right. So we're going to all oh, I'll split the stitch there. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker in it. And like I said, you may end up splitting this. If you're using two threads like me, you'll end up splitting the yarn often, which is really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> really annoying. All right, so that's your second round. Chain one, tighten it all up and single crochet in the same space. You guessed it, pop that stitch marker in. I'm going to grab another one. That one's really awkward to use. Well, that's better. This is smaller, but it's wider. The gap between that 
and there is wider so it gives you more space to go through your stitch I'm sorry a bit of trivia there single into the same stitch as well so you've got two into that first stitch yeah and you're going to pop one now being careful that is a stitch right there yeah one into the next and two into your next one and two one into your next two into your next and this is the pattern in the round one into the next and two into your next so it's one two one two in the round all right so i'm going to pop this on fast and we'll get to this stitch marker here and i'll meet you there once you're done and off we go we've done the last two there so now we're into the one and then two And in your very last stitch, you should have two there and you should have two there. That means your middle stitch would be the one. So your last stitch would be the one. Remember, that is a little slip stitch right there. You don't count that. But this one here, you pop your one in there and make sure you have 24 stitches in the round. Okay. Oh, and I've split my stitch again i'm doing well it doesn't matter what stitch marker you use you're splitting it you're going to split it all right <laughs> she's really naughty all right there you go slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker chain one and tighten that up and in the same stitch you're doing a single crochet yet again pop your stitch marker and hopefully i don't split it this time <laughs> hey it looks good not bad pop a second single crochet in there she's extremely naughty but then it's very exciting you know Christmas I've got the Christmas music on in the background yay one in the next and one in your next all right so you did two and then you went one one in the next stitch two and then one one all right are you getting it one and one yeah two one one okay got it so in this round you are putting two in one and then one and one in your next two then two in the next and then one one two one one two and so on until you get to your stitch mark I'm going to pop this on fast for you and we are going to head off with doing two into the next and off we go one and two And in the last two stitches, you've done your two in there. And the last two stitches, you go one and one. And then right there in that stitch, you slip stitch to join. Pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook. Pull up a loop and take that stitch marker out for just one moment. All right. So what you should have is how many rows have we done? One, two, three, four. Um, so four eights, 32. You should have 32 stitches in the round. That's just me being lazy. <laughs> but count your stitches, yeah? All right. So now this is where the pattern changes just that little bit, yeah? We're still going to be using the white. But our increases will happen on both sides of your work. First thing we're going to do is... Tighten that chain in the first stitch you are putting a single crochet. Whoops, stitch marker. Second single crochet. And then we do 15 single crochets across. So all together will be 16, sorry, not 15. Um, so you've got your two here and now you go one. Don't forget that first one right there two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And on the sixteenth, you're going to put two single crochets. So one and two. And then you're going to put, don't forget that single crochet right there, one single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and your last stitch is fifteen. And if you think about it, on your sixteenth, you would have put two single crochets, which we did in the beginning of the round. And that's how our increase round is going to be. So slip stitch into that stitch with your stitch marker, like so. And there you go. All right, chain one and just pull up a loop and get ready for some instructions. Alrighty, so what you have here, by the way, in this round you should have 34 stitches because we added uh, one there and one there. So you should have 34. But what we have here is this round here and the next round, they're going to be repeat rounds, okay? So the next round is just plain single crochets across. All right, so let's just do a plain single crochet row. So tighten up your chain one that we've done, if you've done it, yes, and pop a single crochet there. Pop your stitch marker in there. Like so. All right, no increasing and just a single crochet in every stitch. Oh, that didn't work. In the round, like so. All right, so single crochet in every stitch. Um, actually, I'll let you do that off air. Single crochet in every stitch. Get to the stitch before your stitch marker, and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, so here I am at the end of this round. I have one more stitch to go right there. Complete that stitch. And then all you're doing is slip stitching to join like so. Alright, so now that you're slip stitched to join, you should have 34 stitches in the round. We're going to take out that stitch marker, okay? Alright, so what we're going to do now is to repeat these last two rounds that we just did two more times however on your increase round you're going to increase at different stitch times all right so don't stress too much about it i'll pop the information up here in a minute um, and it'll have the exact amount of stitches across and when you need to increase for the increase rounds and then a normal double crochet let's try a single crochet round and then you'll do another increase round and it'll have the information on where to increase and then you'll have another single crochet round all right so head off on your own and do the next four rounds follow these instructions coming up right now and i'll meet you back here once you're done Alrighty guys, what you should have now is that. And you should also have 38, well let's say 38 stitches once I finish my last stitch. You should have 38 stitches in the round. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. Pull the loop through. Chain one. Take out that stitch marker for a minute. And we're going to cast off our white or cream or whatever colour you're using. There you go. All right, so what you should have is that. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to add the red. And once again, you need to grab your two tails. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. First, we're going to do this. We're going to weave in that bottom end. Because if we don't do that now, what's going to happen is... I have to cut those little knots off. Um, we won't be able to do it later. It's going to be a bit tricky. So just... And don't let anyone tell you that this end is not going to come undone. It can actually come undone, yeah? But what I'm going to do in this case, I'm not threading both the loops through, all right? Just make sure you give everything a tug. But what I'm going to do is actually start by weaving in just the one thread. Yeah, making sure you can't see the needle from the front. Doesn't matter too much because it's the base of the um, stocking and no one will notice it. But still, you want to be, you know, you want it to be nice, yeah? Um, check your front. I'm not going to but just keep going through like so yeah then you're going back in the other direction was I out of frame there sorry guys let's bring it down a bit you're going I went around this way and now I'm going to go back in the opposite direction making sure I'm not going in the same stitches that I just went through because I don't want to unravel what I just did there and there whoops there all right i'm going to just leave that now because that's been done a few times cut this one and then redo the other one real quickly hence the word real quickly <laughs> and there we go just give that a cut like so and that should not cause you any grief at all yeah all right so now not only have we cut those tails we're going to weave that in as well but not yet just pop it in the center for a minute you're not only going to change color but you're also going to change design you're still going to have your increases on both sides but you're going to change the design. So what I want you to do for now, popping your, not only are we going to be changing our color, we're also going to be changing our stitch, plus we're going to be changing how our stitch works in our stitches for this round only. Normally when we are doing our stitches, you are putting your hook through the stitch like so. You've got your post down the bottom and your little two loops on the top, the front loop and the back loop right this is your front and that one there right there is your back for this round only we're going to be working in the back loops all right so this is a stitch where we just cast off pop your hook through the back loop of that stitch yeah grab your new color I'm using the red okay you can use whatever color you like okay pass your tails forward so we can lock it into place chain one and two this chain two will not act as a stitch in any round okay so yarn over your hook we are going to do double crochets now all right so yarn over your hook pop your hook in the same stitch pull a loop through one two three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two grab your stitch marker and pop it on the top of that stitch right there so you'll be slip stitching into the top of the double crochet and not into the chains at the end of this round yeah in the same stitch we're putting another double crochet so yarn over your hook into the stitch pull a loop through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two that is the increase in this round i'm going to drop the tails for now we are going to put a double crochet into the next 19 stitches yes so in the back loops of them only one back loop of the next one two and the next one three all right so continue in that manner get to your 19th stitch and i'll meet you back here once you're done that's your fourth and off we go
19 right there. Now in this 19th stitch, you are popping a second double crochet. And then you're going to do another 18 across. All right. So double crochet into your first back loops only remember. Yeah. Second. Third. And off we go. I'm going to pop this on fast. And off we go. Alright guys, I have made so many mistakes in that round. <laughs> I don't know if you saw them, but I made so many mistakes. Let's just pop our threads all at the back because we don't want them to be in front. Yeah. And we have one last stitch left. But see this white thread? It seems to be facing that way. So we're going to crochet over it. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to start by popping my hook in the back loop like normal grabbing those two threads and popping them in my fingers at the back and just doing a normal double crochet. All right, whoops, <laughs> my yarn just went flying. All right, so what you should have is that. And that is how we change our colors, yeah? Very nice, very, very nice. We'll talk about weaving in ends later. I'm not gonna worry too much about them in this round and I've split my yarn there. <laughs> Don't split your yarn, guys. Slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet, not the chains, your first double crochet, and pull a loop through. Now, chain one and two in the same stitch. This time we are working in our stitch with a double crochet. Whoops, with a double crochet in the same stitch. Now, this one is not an increase round, yeah? Just pop your stitch marker in that double crochet. Again, not the chains, the double crochet here. Yeah? And in this round, easy round, all you're doing is popping a double crochet into every stitch you come to until you get to the end of the round. All right. So I'm going to let you head off on your own, do your double crochets in every stitch, get round to this stitch right here, and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the round. I have one double crochet left to go and pop your double crochet in there. And I actually forgot to mention in the previous round that you should have had 40 double crochets in the round. Yeah. Uh, and in this round, because we didn't do anything, you should also still have 40 double crochets. And now what you're doing is slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker. You might pay to take out that stitch marker. Pull the loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook, chain one and two and do a double crochet in there just for the moment. And then we're going to pop the stitch marker in there. And this is a tip I like to use occasionally on my tutorials. When I walk away from my work, and especially since we've got two loops, I pop a stitch marker in there in case someone comes around and and pulls at my thread and I lose a stitch. But when I'm ready to work on it, I just pull the stitch, stitch marker up. The reason I got you to do that, guys, is so that we can now head off on our own and do the last double crochet row that we just did, where there's no increase, just a plain double crochet row. We're going to do that now for the next four more rounds. Then meet me back here once you've done your rounds, it's a very, very last stitch right there. And we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty, guys, here I am at the end of the round. Okay. Uh, let me bring that up for you. I have one more stitch left to go. We're going to do our last double crochet in that stitch. Yes. Then we are going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. Pull a loop through 
take out that stitch marker chain one or pull up a loop and cut your threads all right pull that loop right through like so all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the heel and we're going to work across here for the heel because we want that line to be at the back of our stocking we're going to change back to the the white and we're going to work with single crochets again and we're going to also work in the back loops that's a lot of instructions isn't it but don't worry about it we'll work together all right so there's our chain two that we slip stitched well we didn't slip stitch into that we slip stitched into the normal stitch but we're going to count back from the chain two yeah so it's one two three four five grab a stitch marker i want you to pop it in this stitch but in the back loop only of the stitch now you know the back loops because we worked with those when we did this one here yeah then grab another stitch marker go back to that chain two yeah and counting from the stitch that you are in one two three four and pop a stitch marker in the back loop of your fifth one and i think i've split that but we'll work on that later all right um grab your hook pop it in that back loop take out your stitch marker now the very first one you did and i've split the stitch but there you go all right now you need to grab your white pop it on the hook pull the loop through like so grab your tails passing it forward just to lock it all into place chain or one single crochet in the same stitch you know all of this part you've done all this before but you need to pop a stitch marker definitely in this first stitch then grab your tail at the back we're not going to crochet over it in this row because I want to see um, I want, actually want to, you to see where I'm going and this is actually called a row because we're working along a certain amount of stitches all right so now you're going to do a second single crochet but in the next stitch so this is your second a third into the next fourth into your next and one into the last stitch before your knot all right so what I would like for you to do is just pass your little knot forward but before you do the slip stitch that you have there see if you can work into the back loop of that slip stitch like so and pull up a loop grab your tail and push it down the back you're going to jump into the back loop of your next stitch like that pull up a loop now you have your three loops yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook single into your very next back loop across and I'll show you what we did in a minute but let's just keep going all the way across back loops only I'm going to take my stitch marker out of the last one because I split the stitch but you go ahead and put your single crochet in the back loop of that stitch hold it there and what you have basically is that if that knot affected you there is another way of doing this now don't stress if you've already gotten to here i'm going to take it undone and show you another way which is rather tricky okay it's more for the more experienced crocheter yeah so what we're going to do is take that knot i think we'll take another stitch undone before the stitch that we slip stitch into take the knot undone Yeah. so just take one stitch undone there start your double crochet like so get your thread and just pull it through without knotting it yeah then you need to grab your sewing needle now I have the wrong sewing needle here so bear with me I'm going to have to thread it twice I just did that off air real quickly because I couldn't get the thread through. Now, just bear with me, guys. It's just decided to bucket down rain here. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty loud. All right. So what I want you to do is to go through the back loop of your very first stitch, like so, and pull it through like that. Yeah. Then I want you to come straight back into that stitch that we were in through the back loop only, like 
so and what you have formed is your loop for that stitch but this still looks a bit weird doesn't it so give it a tug so now grab your needle and go straight back into the other stitch through the front of that stitch like so and what you have is that yeah I'm hoping this is helping and you're just going to go back into the top of the chain through the chain stitch there it's a little bit fiddly but what it's done is it's closed your chains and your double crochet and left your tails at the back so just take out your threads now this is not knotted so this can come undone but we can weave that in after we crochet over it so that was a very tricky thing to do I'm going to take that stitch undone doesn't matter So far, I've got the two single crochets there. All right. And we'll go into the back loop of the third, the back loop of the fourth, the back loop of the fifth. Now that is there. But do it nice and slowly because that will come undone because it's not it's not really tight and so you've got one two three four five and the back loop of this one six do it slowly yeah back loop of your next one seven again still slowly eight nine ten and ten and you don't get the knotted look take out that stitch marker first it's going to pull up that loop hang on no chain one and pull up the loop yeah so if you were to have given that stitch a tug that would come undone because it's not tight so what I want you to do is stop what you're doing turn over give it a gentle tug and make one little knot like that making sure you're not pulling too tight have a look at the front it's pulled nice and tight but not too tight yeah so you grab one thread all right thread your needle and this one here it doesn't matter which one pick which one's going which way and weave it into that way so what are you going to do you're going to split the first stitch the first red stitch you come to split it and then you're going in under these white threads and in through some red thread before you pull the needle through just have a look you can't see your needle from the front and you can't once you pull that needle through it's going to tug it even more just be careful not to pull too tight yeah you can go a few more stitches across but that goes right to the end I'm not going to bother we're going to go back the other way splitting some yarn from somewhere else so that you're not unraveling what you've just done yeah right there check for the needle you can't see it which is fantastic pull that through if you're really really worried just go back in the other direction one more time splitting different thread once again checking the front all good and you're done you're done with this thread yeah I'm not going to do the other side but I want you to do the other side off air right well off air once you're sorted out you can do that when you're ready in the meantime what I want you to do remember the very um, few ends here I want you to do exactly the same splitting the yarns one way you don't have to knot these or you can just weave them in doesn't matter you don't have to knot these ones it's just that one up here because it was a bit awkward go ahead and make sure you're weaving those ends before you continue I'm not going to because I don't want to waste your time <laughs> <laughs> do you like that I can waste my time off air later in the meantime that was a little bit of a tricky way of doing things if you didn't do it that way it doesn't matter that's fine just um, thread your thread in through the front of your work through to the back and weave it in backward and forward you know the way you want all right so in the meantime that was a very lot of work <laughs> I'm gonna take that chain undone because it's so awkward for some reason so we're going to make sure that you actually have your chain one flip your work we're going to work along these stitches when we are working along these stitches we're working in the normal stitch when we're working along here we're working in 
the back loops on this side, but when we're facing the middle, or the inside of our work, we're gonna be working on the front loops. Again, don't worry, I'll show you that close up anyway. So first thing you do, and I'm sorry about the rain guys, can't help the weather, single crochet in the same stitch that you are in, pop your stitch marker in there like so. All right, I think I split the stitch, we'll work that out later as well. So single into the normal stitch of your work across, yeah? So single all the way across, that's one, two, three, all together we have four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and well this one's split so I'm going to take that out I did say it was split anyway and in there that's the ten so you should have ten single crochets across now what you have is this remember how I said when you're working on the inside of your stocking you need to go into the front loop all right so what we're going to do is slip stitch we're already in that stitch there you can see it tugging yeah we're going to slip stitch into the front loop of our very next stitch all right so there's your front loop right there and there's your back loops at the back so pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook chain one flip your work all right, you can see that that's the actual back loop now, yeah? And now we are skipping the slip stitch that we just did and we're single crocheting into the very first stitch that we had, one, yeah? Pop your stitch marker in that stitch right there. Yeah, this is where it can get tricky after we get to this section later. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I did split that stitch too, I'm doing well. Uh, do your tenth single crochet right there. All right, so from here, we're going to pop a single crochet in there see the loops there we're going to pop a single crochet in that stitch right there along the side of the stitch and then we are going to single crochet into the red like that yeah and slip stitch into your back loop on this side of your whoops of your piece like so all right and what you should have is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stitches and a slip stitch. All right, can be a little tricky, but I'm sure you can. We can manage it. Yeah? Chain one, flip your work again. Now remember, you're working from the inside of your um, stocking, so it's going to change again. We're going to skip that slip stitch that we did. Jump into your first stitch with a single crochet. Pop your stitch marker in there like so and that's single one single into your next two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and my stitch is split but that last one is 12 so do a single crochet in the split stitch <laughs> she's doing all right she's doing all right there you go single there now you're going to do the same on this side that we just did on this side so you're going to do a single crochet into that tight area one one single crochet into your slip stitch there two so that makes that 14 stitches across so 13 14 and then you're slip stitching not in the back loops but in the front loops because you're in the the inside of your stocking so slip stitch into the front loop of your work chain one flip your work so it's a tad tricky but i know you're going to get it 
<laughs> I know you're going to get it. Skipping that little slip stitch that you did, jumping into the next stitch with a single crochet, popping your stitch marker in there. Now that's pretty much it. You're repeating this round over again a few times. We're going to do them together. I'm just going to speed up that middle section. Yeah. So what I want you to do is single crochet over to that stitch marker. I'm going to pop this on fast and I'll meet you there once you're done. So this is your second stitch and off we go. Thirteen and oh, mine split fourteen. All right, you should have fourteen stitches across. We are gaining two in every round row. <laughs> fourteen goes in there. All right. So once again, you're going to do that weird stuff where you single crochet into the tight area like so. Fifteen, single into your slip stitch. Sixteen. And then slip stitch, we are working on the outside of our work here. So slip stitch into the back loop only, like so. All right, so that is pretty much it. Super duper easy, really. If you continued that manner, you could just keep going, okay? But for the rest of us, we are going to keep going together. Chain one. I don't want to confuse anyone, so we're going to keep going. Flip your work. Remember, we are skipping the slip stitch, going into the first single crochet with one, popping your stitch marker, and my stitch marker went flying. Let's pop this one here in. <laughs> it's gone across the table. <laughs> Don't you love it? Okay, one, and once again, single crochet across to get to this stitch marker. Don't forget to count your stitches. So one, and off we go, two. Fifteen, and oh, once again, I have split my stitch, <laughs> as you do. All right, do your sixteenth stitch in your stitch marker stitch. Sixteen. And what are we going to do here? We're going to do a single crochet in that tight area. Again, remember the tight area. It's always going to be a little bit tight. I think I split some yarn there. Single crochet in the tight area. Yep. Yeah single in your loop that you're already in and then you're inside here so you're slip stitching into the front loop only not the back loop the front loop chain one turn your work well, let me check that chain i've pulled up the chain a few times so i'm just going to chain that one again i don't know what i did there they go all loose that time that area flip your work skip the chain remember single into your next stitch all right pop your stitch marker in one two and off we go until we get to that stitch marker there and i'll pop this on fast and off we go three Seventeen, and yes, once again, I've split my stitch. <laughs> it's every stitch marker, isn't it? Don't split your stitches, guys. Single in your last stitch. Single into your tight area there. Pull the loop through like that. Single into your slip stitch. And you're on the outside of your work, so you're single. I'm sorry, you're doing a slip stitch in the back loop only which is right there chain one flip your work and what you should be getting actually is that look like that so it should start to curve in yeah it should start to curve in like so this is looking very nice all right and that's that Okay, chain one, turn your work, and once again, you're going to skip that slip stitch, jump into your single crochet, stitch marker in, 
if you're an avid crocheter you don't need to do this and I felt it split again it doesn't matter and off we go counting until we get to the next slip stitch and that's your second one and off we go three Nineteen, and that's really tight oh I didn't split it though oh no I did I split it <laughs> don't you love it oh I'm too far away so 19 and into your last stitch 20 into your tight stitch 21 <laughs> into your slip stitch 22 and into the front slip stitch right there pull a loop through like so pull up a loop for one moment and just have a look at your work all right now we're going to start closing up shop all righty so we're going to start our decrease rows now <laughs> ordinarily we would skip that slip stitch which we're still going to and do one single crochet there but what we're going to do is single crochet the first stitch and the second stitches together. So pop your hook in the stitch, pull a loop through, hold it there, into the very next stitch, pull a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook and pop your stitch marker in there. Now this is going to be tricky at the end of each round now, but stay focused, yeah? And what I want you to do is single crochet in every stitch, get to your last two stitches here and wait for me there. All right, single crochet across, get to the last two stitches and wait for me there. All right, uh, here we are at the end of this row. Oh, have I done that right? I haven't done that right. Hello. Come on, Mary, you can do this. Here we go. All right, now I asked you to get to the last two stitches. We're going to be putting a single crochet in that second last stitch. And the stitch with your stitch marker in it, take out that stitch marker for now. You're going to start your single crochet. And you're going to start it from the single crochet into the slip stitch. So into your slip stitch, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops slip stitch remember we are working inside our work so we're slip stitching into the front loop like so chain one turn your work and once again you're going to do another decrease row okay skipping that slip stitch you're jumping into your next stitch pull a loop through into the very next stitch Pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, popping, oops, popping your stitch marker in that stitch, like so. And single crochet in every stitch across until you get to your stitch marker and I will meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row and I have split the stitch, of course I have. Pop a single crochet, no we're not, we're going to do a single crochet two together. Start it in your stitch, in your final stitch and into your slip stitch, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Because you're working from the outside, remember you are slip stitching in the back loop. Okay, right there. Pull the loop through, chain one, turn your work. This, I believe, is the last decrease, I think. Can't remember, but we'll work it out. Single into your first, but you're doing what? Two together, remember? Like so, yeah. Pop your stitch marker in there. I bet I've split it again. And once again, you are doing single crochets all the way across. Get to your stitch marker and I'll meet you there once you're done. All 
Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this row and get excited because this is our last decrease row. All right, I'll take out your stitch marker, I've split it. But you're decreasing that stitch and your slip stitch together. All right, so start your single crochet in the stitch, pull up your loop, complete it into the next stitch. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> complete it into the next stitch there and close it up. I just went blank there. Sorry, guys. And we are going to slip stitch into the front stitch there. Pull up a loop, cut your yarn. All right, this is the end. All right, so we will need to actually count nine across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Pop a stitch marker in there for a moment, yeah? And what we're going to do is, that's the way your work should look, yeah? We're going to start working from that stitch marker and working around that way using our red, all right? But we're not working, it's a little tricky because we're working in the back loops of this white area and then in the normal loops of the red. We'll work on that in a minute, but let's just start by working this way, yeah? Pop your hook in the back loop of that stitch marker stitch that you just Oh, I might have to take it out first because this is tight. <laughs> so it's in the back loop, not your front loop, but the back loop, yeah? Grabbing your red, pulling it through like so. Bring them over so we can lock into place with a chain one and a chain two. Okay, you can leave your work the way you've got it. I'm just going to move it this way because it gets in the way of the recording. All right, so there we go. In the same, see how bright it is now? <laughs> in the same stitch, you're going to pop a double crochet over your tail and do your normal double crochet. So we're back to double crochets again, yeah? Pop your stitch marker in there. And we're going to double crochet across. Now we're not going to double crochet over the tail for this part because I want you to see what I'm doing, yeah? So you are actually popping your hook in the back loop of your single crochet and doing a double crochet, yeah? That's one and two. So that'll be classified as one. So it's one and two. And that's your third Fourth. Oh, they're a little tricky, these back loops, aren't they? <laughs> and fifth. Six. Seventh. Eight. Wait, eight, I should say. We're doing the right count there. And ninth goes in that stitch. All right, so we're going to take out the stitch marker. And your ninth one goes in that stitch right there. All right, so what we have is all of this here. Yeah, now normally we did that slip stitch, we did a, a single crochet in there and then single crochet and slip stitch over. Now, what we're going to do is double crochet that little bit together with your slip stitch, okay? So you pop your hook in there. Now it's gonna be all very tight. Pop your hook in, pull a loop through, this isn't too bad. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over your hook, pop it in to the slip stitch, pull a loop through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you did a double crochet two together. Then you're going to jump straight into that stitch. This time you're not doing back loops. You're going into the stitch like normal. So into the stitch like normal, just a normal stitch and doing a double crochet and a double into your next. All right. So I'm having trouble with my threads They're all over the place. Just bear with me guys. <laughs> And double crochet into every red stitch 
until you get to the end of this red section. I'm going to pop this on fast for you and off we go double crocheting across. So we're almost there guys. We've got one more stitch and then we've got that slip stitch and your single crochet spot. So we'll do one more stitch there. And now here what you're going to do is exactly what you did on the opposite side. You're going to start your stitch in your slip stitch like so. Yarn over your hook, go into, now this is a little tricky because we've got a knot there, a white knot. Go into that section there, like so, and do two. Now you could have crocheted over the tail. I think I might do that. So we're going to do it again. Pop it in the stitch, and there's my tail. Pop it there. Pull the loop through. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last. And then I'm going to crochet across this way as well. But once again, I'll pull the tail back now. I think I'll weave that in later. We're going in the back loops again. I don't know if you can see them from there. It's a little bit awkward now, but there it is right there. <laughs> the first one is there. Back loops only all the way across. Now, it shouldn't take long because I think we should only have about nine stitches or ten. I can't even remember how many we had left. So it shouldn't really take us long to go back. And you know what you're doing here. You are popping a double crochet into every back loop, <laughs> to the back loop of every stitch. And that's both the threads, not just one. <laughs> Come on, Mary, you could do this. <laughs> There's only a few stitches. All right, here we go. We're nearly there, nearly there. <laughs> that doesn't want to do it for me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nine stitches, that's all I had, and I'm struggling with them. The threads keep splitting because we have, because we're working with two threads, they're splitting, yeah? I'm on my second last stitch, and you can actually see your last stitch right there. You're going into the back loop, like so. And once again, you are skipping that chain two, and you are slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker, which is your double crochet. I'm not sure if I split the yarn, so I might do that again. So slip, slip stitch into the double crochet stitch like so and there you go. All right, so just chain one and pull up a loop for a moment. Count our stitches so we can start from that little knot right there. Let's bring everything up so everything's out the way. That little knot, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 40. Yay! So you should have 40 stitches again, and it should look like, <laughs> flatten it all out for you, like that. We've chained one already, let's chain the second one. And in the same stitch, you are popping a double crochet. Yoo-hoo, get excited, guys. That was the hard part. <laughs> well, that was it. All right. So now we are putting a double crochet in every stitch. No back loops, no nothing. Just a double crochet in every stitch all the way across. Actually, we'll do the first section together, and then I think you can do the rest. All right, in every stitch Get to that section where we did our two together. Here we are. So if you look carefully at the stitch, it's a lot wider than the rest of the stitches, but it's still a V. So all you're doing is popping your double crochet in that V. It's a wide V, but it's a V. And then off you go. It's super duper easy all right so what I want you to do is continue popping a stitch into every stitch 
get to this stitch marker right here or just before it and I will meet you there once you're done hopefully by then I'll have all my ends weaved in <laughs> this is probably the better for you two to actually make sure all your weave ends are weaved in now before we continue all right head off on your own continue this round and I'll meet you there right there once you're done Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round. I have one last stitch just before our chains right there. And what I have now is the chain two, a little bit of fluff on that one, let's get rid of that. What I have is the chain two, let's try up here, chain two and the double crochet. Of course, we're skipping the chain two. We are slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker or the double crochet, whatever you want to call it. Take out your stitch marker chain one and two double crochet in the same stitch like so pop in your stitch marker right there and pop in another stitch marker on your loop and get ready for some instructions all right so i did take a long time to do the heel on that side and that side on purpose because i know a lot of people struggled with it so the thing is, it's made our tutorial very long, which means I'm going to have to do this as a part one, guys, and return tomorrow for part two. I think that's the best way to do it, yeah? All right, so the best part about part one is now, that round that we did just now, you need to continue that round for another nine more rounds. Okay, so if you do nine more rounds, we'll be at the end of our stocking. Then we'll start working on the green and a bit more of the white and so on to make it all, you know, embellish it a little bit. Yeah. So what I want you to do for now um, is do nine rows. Meet me back here tomorrow and we'll talk about what we're going to do next for our Christmas stocking. How gorgeous is it coming up so far? Well, firstly, I would like to make a big special thank you to the lovely Angela, one of our subscribers, for her choice of colour combination today. Now, as you know, I mentioned earlier in the promo, she chose the three colours and she chose that through our live antics on Saturday morning. So, guys, uh, if you want to be a part of our live antics and, and have a chance to choose the next colour combination for our up and coming tutorials then by all means join us on saturday mornings 10 a.m melbourne australia time that's when we do our live for our live antics we also have lives on wednesdays at 4 p.m uh, every week as well once again melbourne australia time all right so thank you very much for watching it's starting to look gorgeous it's coming up nicely don't forget to do your nine rows join me back here tomorrow and we will continue our Christmas stocking. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.